wake up. Jillian? Jillian, are you in there? What are you doing? Dad, you scared me. Sorry, I just wanted to show you this. Is that a fake bird? No, it's not fake. Actually, it's a real stuffed bird. That's weird. I was just dreaming about a bird. Where'd you get it? There was an estate sale at that creepy old house up on the hill. An estate sale? Yeah, the old guy who lived there had this as a pet for years and then he got it stuffed. Is that a crow? Actually, it's a raven. You know, like in that old Edgar Allan Poe poem, The Raven? We should call him Edgar. What are you going to do with him? I thought he might look cool on your shelf over there. Thanks. No problem. I don't like you. You're a goner. Who said that? Dad, was that you? You're not funny. You're a goner. Are you some kind of machine? What's that thing? Don't sneak up on me like that, Jillian. Is that a raven? Yeah, Dad found it at an estate sale. His claws look real. They are real. He's a stuffed bird, but I think there's a speaker inside him. A speaker? Why? It keeps talking. Well, ravens do talk. What's it saying? It keeps saying you're a goner. What's it mean by that? It means you're doomed, like you're gonna die. Why would someone make a toy raven that says that? It makes sense. Ravens and crows are supposed to be symbols of bad luck. Maybe it's just a Halloween decoration. I don't really like it. It's giving me the creeps. It's just a toy, Addy. I don't know, Jillian. I think it might be really haunted. That's ridiculous. It's just a talking machine. I couldn't find any wires or batteries in it, and why isn't it talking now? It looks pretty old. It probably just doesn't work very well. That might be why the owner sold it to begin with. It was an estate sale. That means the owner died. I think we should get rid of it. I don't know. I think he looks good there. I kind of like him. Well, you could have him. I know you're going to say something for me. Go on, say something. Eh, stupid broken bird. Too late for you. So you can talk after all. How are you doing that? Say that again. Too late for Adelaide. Say that again.
Addie, come here. What's up? The raven talked to me. I told you it did. It didn't just talk, it said your name. How could it know that? Maybe it has a microphone in it and it heard you saying my name? It called you by your full name, Adelaide. We never use that. Well, what did it say about me? Hmm, I better not tell you. Why not? You'll just get upset. I'm already upset. You might as well tell me. It said too late for Adelaide. What does that mean? Why is it too late for me? I don't think it's anything to get worried about. That's easy for you to say. It didn't threaten you. I'm sure there's some explanation for this. I don't care about explanations. We should just get rid of it. We should just throw it out. You've been poisoned. Poisoned. Poisoned? What's he mean by that? Addie, did you touch the raven? Yeah, did you? Yeah, I did. Do you think he poisoned us somehow? I guess it's possible. Well, don't you think we should go to the hospital? Addie, no one's going to believe us about a talking poisonous raven. We at least need to let Dad know he touched the raven too. That's a good idea. Get in the ground. Down in the deep, dark hole. Dad, come back here. What's wrong, girls? Dad, the raven's talking. We think it might have poisoned us. I better call the police. Wait, you actually believe us? I found this at the estate sale. It's a diary by the former owner, although it's more of a confession than a diary. A confession? What do you mean? At some point, the owner must have gone crazy. He poisoned his wife, hid the body, and told the police that she'd left him. He wrote all about it in this diary. Wait, the same owner of the raven? Yeah, the same guy. This is evidence. That's why I need to take it to the police. Wait a minute. What was the name of the man's wife? As a matter of fact, her name was Adelaide. So the raven wasn't threatening us. It was trying to tell us what happened. The raven must have seen and heard everything. Now what he says makes sense. You're a goner. Yeah, and it's too late, Adelaide. And don't forget, you've been poisoned. Yeah, the raven was never our enemy. He was a witness to a crime. Anyway, I need to take this to the police. Will the police be able to do anything? I mean, the owner's already dead, isn't he? At least the police might be able to find the body so the wife could get a decent burial, but the guy didn't write anything about where he hit her in here. Wait a minute, when you were at the estate sale, did you notice a hole anywhere? No, I didn't see a hole anywhere. But there was a well in the backyard. The raven said, get in the ground. Yeah, down in the deep, dark hole. It's got to be the well. You guys better come with me to the police station. So that was The Haunted Raven. Be sure to click the thumbs up button, it's extremely important. Make sure to check out our other two channels, Jillian and Natty Laugh and Jillian and Natty Life, for new videos every week. They're a lot of fun. Are you on Instagram? So are we. Check us out for new pictures, videos, and stories every day. Sometimes we post sneak previews of upcoming videos, like this one. Thanks, Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. What's that, Raven? Really?